dark matter. It's the most mysterious substance in the universe. Little is known about it. Scientists are pretty sure it exists, but still don't know what it is. Now they have created the largest ever distribution map of dark matter in the universe. As our science correspondent Palab Ghosh reports. Look up at the skies and you see stars. But this telescope in the deserts of Chile is able to see the universe as it really is, filled with a mysterious substance called dark matter. It can't be seen, but this instrument can detect dark matter by the way it distorts starlight. This is a map of matter in the universe. And that's allowed astronomers to produce this map of how it's spread across the expanse of space. It's a, an element of, you know, unveiling mystery, something you, you couldn't see before, and suddenly it's there, and you think, wow. So what is dark matter, and where is it in space? Dark matter permeates space, with galaxies like tiny gems on a tangled cosmic web. The bright areas are where dark matter is most concentrated, and it's here that galaxies form. But the map is not what astronomers expected. The matter should be slightly more clumped together. Instead, it's smoother than predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity, which helps determine how the matter should have spread out after the Big Bang. If the structures in this map are smoother than we expect them to be, which is what the results seem to hint at, it means that Einstein's theory is wrong. So you might think that that's a bad thing, that maybe, oh no, physics is broken. But it, for physicists, it's extremely exciting because it means that we can find out something new about the way the universe really is. Building on the work of Einstein, Carlos Frank was among a group of scientists that developed the current model of cosmology. Hearing now that there may be something not quite right with the theory, well, it's very disconcerting, it's very alarming, and in a way, frightening to see that maybe my whole life's work might crumble in front of me. But at the same time, it is immensely exciting. Astronomers believe that we are at the start of a new revolution in cosmology that will give us a fuller understanding of how the universe began and how it will evolve. Palab Ghosh, BBC News. Now, the idea that everything is connected is a very old idea. Even in science, in the late 1800s, there was a belief that there was an invisible web of energy that connects everything in the 1800s. And scientists were very, uh, in a very heated debate, very controversial, as to whether or not this field exists. There was a very famous experiment that was conducted to determine if the field called the, the ether field actually existed. In the year 1887, the very famous Michelson-Morley experiment was designed to tell once and for all, is the field here or no? Yes or no? The field exists? It does not exist. In my opinion, it was a good experiment. However, it was poorly interpreted. For over 100 years, our science has been based in a belief that is incorrect. It's incorrect. Now, this is very interesting. 100 years later, 1986, the United States Air Force repeated that experiment. 1986, the United States Air Force replicated the Michelson-Morley experiment, they published the results in the very prestigious journal Nature, the scientific journal Nature. What they found was this. They repeated the experiment with good equipment, much better equipment. The bottom line is that the field exists. They found that the field is actually there. This is reported in August 1986 the journal Nature, volume 322, they said, ah, the field is there. And not only is the field there, it measured precisely the way that Michelson and Morley had predicted 100 years earlier. They just didn't have the equipment to work this out. 
Now, why don't we know about this? This should have made the cover of every major magazine and newspaper. This should have been on CNN headline news or Sky News. But this changes everything for the scientists. Because the textbooks all say the field is not there. Entire careers are based on the field not being there. And now the field is there. Such a great thing to be watching here. And here we go. Now you see the sun hitting. Look at that. Really taking off now. My goodness. And now you'll see it continue to shine through the night sky as it hits another thrust set right there. Just see the trail it's leaving behind. Absolutely amazing. And to describe it to you, for, and you can see it, but from the ground, it almost looks as though it almost looks as though a cloud of smoke with its own mind is just shooting through the sky. This is absolutely incredible. Again, you're watching the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launch from Vandenberg Air Force Base. This visible from Bakersfield. Absolutely incredible.